the rate at which data is being generated that's increasing and our ability to be able to deal with it and consume it. It doesn't fit in the traditional data warehousing world because you know, that's about designing a data model, putting data into that data model, storing it, then analyzing it. So we're turning it on its head. If we're not careful, we're going to overspend on data management by buying technologies here, 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 different skills and fracturing skills across the enterprise and all kinds of different data management tools and equally, you know, different analytical tools across the top to try and deal with this problem. So the ability to get at the data from a business user perspective is getting harder. Is a lot of my customers have gone and got self-service BI tools and then ended up doing not self-service BI but self-service DI, self-service data integration, where they've connected to multiple different uh, data sources and are trying to do data integration in front-end tools that were never designed to do it in the first place. And then reports are produced and sent around the organization and it's mayhem and there's a reconciliation meetings going on all over the place. What we'd really rather do is hide the complexity of multiple underlying data stores and be able to present a simple user interface to business users to allow them to take advantage of these multiple analytical platforms. Well, what we've got an advantage of doing here is we can create common definitions in a data virtual layer, point all the semantic design tools at a common set of definitions, just level the playing field in an instant. And then we get, we get this ability to be able to um, break the dependency between data warehouses, which of course is a data source here as well as other data sources that are out there, uh, and, and BI tools, and uh, therefore time to value is reduced. Also, if I you know, missed a column, oh, that's okay, add it in, you know, just add a new column in. Don't need a new data, I don't have to get a data modeler, I don't have to go and rebuild ETLs all over the place, you know, just add it in. We, we've got agility by the ability to um, quickly pull together uh, uh, data from multiple systems and deliver value to the business even though that data is not in one system. So we don't have to necessarily go uh, and build a new data model to uh, buy another database license and store that data uh, in a new database in order to satisfy a business requirement. We can respond much more rapidly uh, and if we get it wrong we can uh, add columns and you know, move columns around in these virtual structures in order to get what the business needs out of this information. So we've got agility and flexibility with improved time to value as well as simplified access. So with that, uh, I'll uh, finish there and uh, thank you for your time and uh, see if there's any questions.